So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to install Flask. And to install Flask, all you need to do is that you need to open up your uh, terminal if you are a Mac user or your CMD if you are a Windows user. So here, obviously, I'm a Mac user. Therefore, I'm going to open my terminal and then I'm going to type pep3 and then install and then Flask. And then hit enter and this is going to start installing Flask on your uh, operating system. And since I have already installed Flask before, it says here requirement already satisfied. Otherwise, it's going to start installing Flask, which is going to just take a couple of minutes. And once you have installed Flask, let's now create our uh, project. So now let me create uh, our project. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop because it's easier to access my desktop. So if you can create your project fo folder anywhere uh, on your PC, but I would recommend creating it on your desktop because, because it's easier and uh, uh, very easy to open in your, uh, in your uh, text editor. So I'm going to um, head on over to my desktop. I'm going to create a new uh, folder. So I'm going to create here a new folder and I'm going to name it. Let me here name it flask underscore flask. Let me here rename this. Rename and then I'm going to name it flask underscore calculator. And then hit enter and now we have our project folder. And um, let me open my project, project folder in my um, IDE. And obviously I'm using, I'm using, uh, I'm going to be using um, Visual Studio Code, therefore I'm going to drag to open it, to open your project folder, you just need to drag and drop your folder in here, uh, Visual Studio Code, and it will be opened. So as you can see, now my project is opened in Visual Studio Code.